Killer clowns from outer space, a stupid concept and plot perhaps, but a damn good looking 4K. What is going down, everybody? Ken here, Ungraduated Media. Thank you for being here with me for what is going to be a full review of this gem of the Steelbook. I don't know about gem of a movie. Definitely a cult following for sure, but this one from the Shiato Brothers, Shioto Brothers. Um, not going to be a ton of perspective in this one. I can tell you that much for sure. But we are going to do a full unboxing and a side-by-side -side comparison of this original camera negative 4k scan versus the original blu-ray scan and let me tell you right now spoiler alert this is amazing wow the film itself may not be at least in my personal opinion it's one of those ones where you kind of just uncheck unwind and allow yourself to disconnect and enjoy the goodness that is on the screen in front of you okay now what I will say is Stephen Shioto, the Shioto brothers in general, they directed this, but Stephen Shioto in general, this is loosely based, loosely based on a true story involving him on some windy mountain road in the middle of nowhere, I think in the nighttime, where he comes across a fully dressed in garb clown. That was the motivation for Killer Clowns from Outer Space. And as far as any other realism crossovers, that's probably pretty much where it stops. So just a little bit about the film here before we get going into that side-by-side -side 4K comparison versus the old Blu-ray. I'll just say this. The overall premise here, it's not too earth-shattering. You got a couple, you got some old guy in the middle of nowhere where there's some what they think is a comet that crashes, and, well, they go to investigate. If you'd have just left these damn killer clowns alone, you would have had nothing to worry about. But no, people got to do what people do. They got to get all curious and investigate, and, you know, that's kind of what happens. And then these killer clowns, they don't like it none too much, and they kind of follow these perpetrators, this couple that's making out on Overlook Point, and they follow them into town. And then they begin to create ravage upon the town, using their toy guns and their little gadgets to more or less get people encapsulated inside of a cotton candy bubble in which they take them back into their ships and, well, they drink them. They use them as sugar energy, I suppose. So, not a whole lot of context here in the film. It is a sci-fi horror, probably more horror, but I'll classify it as sci-fi horror because it is killer clowns from outer space with the spaceship that is kind of wonky, kind of janky, kind of fun. I mean, the entire film is really full of fun, in my opinion. It is a good gateway horror film for anybody who is, you know, not so great on the horror aspects when it comes to filmography. But definitely a fun film to sit back and just unwind and enjoy the goofiness. Killer Clowns from Outer Space comes to us from 1988. The still book, this gorgeous still book, comes to us from scream factory and is just brand new recently released i think i got my copy a little bit early i think this is due to come out on may 7th and the steelbook it is uh retailing for somewhere around 32 ish dollars and i think the slipcover option was oddly the same price but this comes from the original camera negatives it is in 185 aspect ratio so your entire screen is just going to be full of that 4k goodness i mean check it out let's do a quick little unboxing here for you give you the full view of this gorgeous steel book with the artwork looking all wonderful you do get a blu-ray and you get the 4k the 4k is in the pink cotton candy-esque look and the blu-ray is in blue now the blu-ray does in this set contain the new 4k scan onto a blu-ray so the blu-ray is going to probably look a lot better i would suppose than what uh the view that you're going to get from the side by side because i did the side by side comparison for the old blu-ray which oddly enough in the research i'm doing shows it was made in 2020 but i think it's like 2011 i think the blu-ray that i got was made in 2020 but the original 4k sorry the original blu-ray scan is from like 2011 
I do believe. But uh, let me know in the comments section below if I am mistaken. But here is the newly scanned 4K onto a Blu-ray disc. There's your disc art in full on that. And uh, yeah, looking at the interior artwork here, you got your clowns, your killer clowns in all their glory. So that is a view of what you're going to get here with this 4K Steelbook from Screen Factory. I'll give you a quick glance at the J card as well, too, just so you get the full details. Special features wise, I don't think there was anything new ported over onto this. So that is a takeaway. Uh, the Arrow video, Killer Clowns from Outer Space, I think was one of the better releases that had more special features. So you do get some of a downgrade when it comes to special features that are not ported over to this 4K Steelbook from Screen Factory. But without any further delay, let's get into those side-by-side -side comparisons of that Blu-ray. All right, once again, this is the Blu-ray. Now, it says on the back of this Blu-ray, if I can pull this up, I'm not sure how well you're going to be able to probably see this somewhere down. I think it's right here it claims it's from 2020 but i think the blu-ray scan itself is from 2011 so again everything that i give you here when it comes to the side-by-side -side comparisons are always going to be directly off of my equipment helps if you view this in 4k you do have the option to click that little gear and select 2160p if you have the ability to view it in 4k on whatever device you are watching but I did take the exact 4K images directly from my projector screen. So you're going to probably notice even more enhancement because the screen is a bit more reflective. This is not just off of the player. OK, so you are seeing it as I would be seeing it from my own 4K Sony native projector with my elite screens, Cinegray 3D, I think is what it is. So here we go. In this first scene, just take a look at that big top there. Look at the color difference. Look at the brightness. Of course, you've got the brights of the forest as well as the, the, the clothing there. You can see this old guy who is just stumbling upon this UFO big top in a very unfortunate manner in which you soon find out from the film. But look at the stark difference in the beauty of that 4K versus the Blu-ray. And then, good Lord, sweet baby Jesus, take a look at the difference here in this inner shot they have of the spaceship. I guess the power source of where this clown ship is getting its juice to freely flow through space. But yeah, look at the brightness there in that, like, I don't know, reddish hue. You got the purples of that nuclear sphere. Man, what a beautiful, beautiful difference in the 4K to the Blu-ray. And then let's take a look at some of these close-ups of the clown's facial features, the colors of the hair, the neon greens, the white paint of the face, the white levels. Check out the white levels and the difference behind in the Blu-ray as well as the 4K. That level of detail, that brightness, that clarity, that contrast, and that ugly goodness of those killer clown faces. Now, I also wanted to show you just a level of detail when it comes to the black levels at night. Check out the clowns facial paints and again the colors of their shirts their neon hair the different vast amount of coloration here versus the dark backgrounds you get a lot of the difference here in terms of that contrast that level of detail just the overall vividness of it versus the blu-ray Again, to me, it's mind-boggling, mind-blowing just how much better this 4K with Dolby Vision and HDR10 looks. Just absolutely fantastic. Here's even a few shots now of the inside of the spaceship with those cotton candy balls. You can see that versus just the inner workings of the ship and how the detail and contrast varies from the Blu-ray to the 4K. And then you can see the outside night of the clowns marching through the city doing what they will, collecting all of the humans in their cotton candy balls. Had to show you this shot, too, of the playpen, I guess, the balls, the colorful balls that they fall into at some point near the latter part of the film. Look at that vibrancy of the 4K versus the Blu-ray. That Dolby Vision really shining through with that HDR. Just fantastic. 
And if, just in case you're wondering, well, how do the humans look? Well, here's a shot of Officer Mooney in his office as he is in just disbelief with all the calls coming in about killer clowns ransacking and ravaging the city. So yeah, you can see the level of light and contrast there, as well as the contrast difference in the uniform and the whites behind. Here's a little fun shot of when they turn people into their cotton candy bags. This little lasery thing comes out of their, what well, looks like a toy gun. I just thought it would be a fun shot to show the clowns and the Dolby Vision HDR color grading differences here versus the Blu-ray. One more now of just the awesomeness of the black levels and the bright contrast structure. Take a look at this, the image on your screen now showing the dark of the night with the colorful top of that UFO slash clown tent. And even the fun house, the, I guess, platform in front of it. Check that out. Just gorgeous job from the Dolby Vision and HDR 10. Then I got one more here for you, just showing the depth and the clarity and the contrast of the flames as a fiery crash where the clowns throw the ice cream truck in this film and an explosion looks pretty good actually for the time and how they did the special effect, but notice the difference in the flames. Probably I would say more realistic, more clear in that 4k with Dolby vision versus the Blu-ray. So for this original camera negative, amazing video quality 185 ratio from the original camera negatives dolby vision hdr 10 this is an astounding five out of five could not get a whole lot better screen factory really really knocked this one out of the park in terms of the audio quality now on the old blu-ray this was a 2.1 stereo mix is all that it was we did get an upgrade off of that too on this 4k we get I'm not sure if you can see that down there at the bottom we got a 5.1 5.1 upgrade shows somewhere down there anyway it is a very good sounding 5.1 but what i'll tell you about it is it kind of has or had a little bit of an echoey sound chamber ish kind of feel sound but it was kind of cool because when they were in the spaceship instead of it just coming at you if you've got a 5.1 base layer system, you're going to hear this echo and not in an, uh, not in an annoying or bad way. Just it sounds spacious. It sounds more spacious when they get inside of the spaceship versus outside. You're not hearing it. But I thought that was a nice enhancement to go with that 5.1. Definitely not the original. I guess the purist will say not the way you should have listened to it. But I was excited to get the 5.1. It's not a Dolby Atmos sound shaking kind of a film, although there was some bass filling moments, but I thought it was a pretty good upgrade and I'll give it a four and a half out of five only because, well, there's no Dolby Atmos and not everything could probably serve itself well with Atmos, but I pretty much feel like that it could, although this did sound good for sure. But if you are a purist, just know you still have that 2.1 stereo mix that you can select to if you don't want to hear the 5.1 DTS master. Okay, now, special, fe special features wise, again, I don't think there was anything that was new on this from the Blu-ray, so I'm not going to really grade it off special features because I didn't delve into it, so I'll leave you be the judge of whether or not they're that great. I don't really think that they are. If I were to compare these, we just have the 4K scan of the original camera negative and as a commentary. So commentary is all that you get. That's why I didn't check out any special features. It's just the damn commentary. So you get nothing that comes on this original Blu-ray. And I think, again, the Arrow video was far even better on special features. On this, you get the audio commentary with the Shioto brothers. You also have a feature at the making of Killer Clowns, composing clowns, visual effects with Gene Warren Jr., creating clowns, Shioto brothers, earliest films. You get two deleted scenes. So yeah, some bloopers too. So hang on to your old Blu-ray because unfortunately, special effects here on this 4K steelbook, thumbs down. I'd probably give it a big fat zero out of five because you're only getting the audio commentary. What the hell is that? Before I wrap this completely up, we got to give the ungraduated media perspective on this. Now, it's been a long time since I've been able to say this is a moronic film. 
you get zero perspective, a big, a fat, a zero. But it is a film that is meant to uncheck, unwind, and just kind of let time pass. It flies by at like 86 minutes. It's just a fun film. It's not meant to be perspective gaining. But man, that 4K, that's some perspective gaining right there. If anything, that I can say. All right, and then my overall, would I recommend this? Well, that all depends. Do you want to get this in the best viewing aspect possible? For sure. Do you like to just uncheck and watch something goofy that kind of just lets your mind wander and just enjoy life? Then yes. Do you want a sound upgrade? Then yes. Are you looking for some special features and that alone? Then no. But overall, I would say this is a highly recommend. It's perhaps one of the best looking 4Ks of the year so far. So watch out. Do take notice. I see you, Scream Factory. This film just lends itself to the 4K Dolby Vision HDR10 elements. This is a four and a half out of five for me. Definitely recommend. Not really my general cup of tea, but a fun film for sure that I wanted to get out in front of all of you to enjoy and check out the differences from the 4K to the Blu-ray for yourselves. Well, there you go, my friends. I hope that you enjoyed this review, this complete unboxing, this 4K versus Blu-ray side-by-side -side comparison. If you did, give the video a like and a thumbs up. Put your thoughts in the comments section down below. Tell me what you feel about Killer Clowns from Outer Space. I don't really feel like it's a great movie. It is a cult classic for sure. It has its place. I would not call it a great movie, <laughs> but... It's a fun movie for sure, and damn, did it look great in 4K from Scream Factory. So yeah, let me know your thoughts on the side-by-side -side comparisons. Again, thank you all for being here. Comment down below, share the video around. Let's engage in some dialogue. And until next time, do take care for now. Deuces to you. Talk to you again soon.